I've got good news for home buyers moving to Texas. And this is the first time we've had really good news for buyers just about anywhere in quite a while. But good news for buyers moving to the great state of Texas, specifically here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but really almost entirely statewide right now. We are seeing more housing inventory, meaning more homes available for sale for buyers to buy on the market than we have seen in quite a while. Certainly year to date, as, as much as we've seen more than at almost any point last year. Um, inventory's up in some smaller communities as much as three or four hundred percent, three to four times as many homes as we had on the market just eight, eight to ten weeks ago. Now, don't panic. Don't hear me saying massive, crazy, bad stuff. That's not what I'm saying. We may be talking about 10 available homes is now up to 35 or 40, which is still not a lot of homes. Uh, compared to historical housing inventory where supply has either met demand or maybe a little more than demand or a little bit under demand, we are still way below demand. But if you're out of state thinking about making a move to Texas, again, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is true in Houston. This is definitely true in Austin. Uh, most, San Antonio, uh, most of the larger communities, Fort Worth in Texas, this is true. I think all of the larger communities and most of the smaller ones, but inventory is up. Now, mortgage rates have gone up as well. Depending on when you're watching this video, they've slipped back down a little bit. Um, uh, and then we also have kind of a volatile stock market and an and overall economic and political climate as well. So if you're making a move to Texas, certainly if you have cash, now's a very good time to come because there's more to choose from and less buyers to compete with. Even if you're borrowing, at a slightly higher rate, there's fewer buyers to compete with, more homes to choose from. And I would say overall, sellers have lost a little bit of confidence, not a ton. If sellers were supremely 100% confident with all of the leverage, that might have dipped into the high 80s, low 90s. But again, that's the first time we've seen some significant wiggle room for buyers in quite a while. Interest rates aren't necessarily great news for buyers, but with that comes less buyers to compete with and sellers who the smart sellers are starting to understand they need to be a little bit more reasonable. Um, and then, um, you've got more homes to choose from. So all things considered, especially here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, a pretty attractive scenario. If you're a buyer moving from out of the market. Now, one point I want to make, and again, this applies to virtually the whole state. I'm just speaking specifically from where I am, where our real estate team is here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, one thing to think about with interest rates, uh, a lot of buyers have been discouraged to make the move within Texas or to Texas because interest rates are higher. But the good thing about buying now uh, is we anticipate home values to continue to rise here pretty much across Texas, maybe not quite as rapidly as the last couple of years, maybe back to pre-COVID rates. And those rates were coming down from crazy, crazy high. Historically here in Dallas-Fort Worth, we have 3 to 5% of annual appreciation. We are still way above that, but maybe not in the 30s like we have been last year. So my, the point I want you to hear if you're making a move and you're not as excited about interest rates is the great thing about an interest rate is if you can afford current rates, if rates go down, you can refinance to go down. If rates go up, you've secured a lower rate. But if you wait and rates go down, they're probably going to you, it'll, it's probably going to be a while, but if rates go down and prices go up, you probably don't win much. If rates go up and prices go up and you wait, then you lose big. So it's still a good time to think about that move to Texas, even if the interest rate isn't great, even if you don't love it, it's still historically great, but even if you don't love it, as long as you can reasonably afford it, you're protected from the downside being able to refinance if it goes down. You're protected from the upside by being able to lock in a fixed rate now. So that's a lot on mortgage rates, but that's a lot to say. All the others, you know, identifiers here are, are positive for a buyer in Texas right now. Prices are going up, but not at the same rate. More homes to choose from, less buyers to compete with. Texas is still booming. Lots of interest from people moving here from all over the state. We still have great healthcare, great education, you know, no state income tax. Yes, we do have property taxes, but all things considered, I think you have a more affordable place to live with lower cost of living and lots of great resources for families, individuals, businesses, and all of the above. So a great time to take a look at Texas if you're out of the market. 
If you're inside Texas and you're watching this for some reason, it's a great time to stay in Texas, but maybe you're looking to make a move from Austin to Dallas, from Dallas to Fort Worth, from Houston to uh, El Paso or San Antonio. All of those are good options. Texas is in business and doing well and is still a great place to live. If you have other questions, drop them in the comments. We read every single one of them. We'll respond to you there. We can connect offline. If you're thinking about making a move to the area, we are a real estate brokerage with an office in Dallas and Fort Worth. We're here to help. I'll catch you on the next video.